and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some encroaching shadows. We're going to be playing an aggressive deck here, very aggressive deck. This is going to be based around the Ephemerals. Um, we'll see how, how well this works. We're going to be playing it uh, with Hecarim and Zed as our champions. So the kind of the thing that I'm worried about with this deck is that we're not going to be able to, to block too well because we're going, to, we're going to have to be really, really aggressive. And that's what we're going to do with Greenglade Duo, Shark Chariot, Silent Shadow Seer. These aren't the best blockers, but they can attack very well. Um, to, to help us block, though, we got Darkwater Scourge. So this is going to be a really important card for us playing defense, having the lifesteal. We're going to have that plus death mark. That's a great combo to have. Um, let's see. Oblivious Islander can make some of our ephemerals cost less mana. We got Stygian Onlooker, another really good blocker. Um, basically, what we're going to... Because we're going to be playing Encroaching Shadows. So we're going to try to set up a turn later on in the game where we can have Encroaching Shadows and then afterwards be able and have like a hand filled with really buffed up ephemerals and then be able to dump them down and do a lot of damage in one turn to the opponent. So that could be with like, you know, Green Glade Duo being buffed up, like played Green Glade Duo, then start then Silent Shadows here, and then Stygian Onlooker. You know, five mana there, you can get a whole lot of elusive and fearsome attackers attack. Maybe they bring Shark Chariot back in. Uh, you know, maybe you have like a Soul Shepherd that's buffing them all up as well. Um, so that, that's kind of the plan of our deck, and we'll have like Hecarim as like a plan B, because this thing just attacks for a ton of damage, so that's going to be very good, and then Zed, um, you know, Zed just doing Zed's thing. Zed will, um, be able to attack and bring back Shark Chariot in on turn three, um, and so those work well together. So we'll see how, how well this does. We wanted to play an ephemeral deck with Hecarim. Uh, with focusing on the ephemeral, and this is what we came up with. So uh, this is just going to be an extension of our meme tier Monday. We're going to just be playing these games over in a normal, uh, trying this out. If we're doing well with it, we'll take it over to ranked if it's looking good. Uh, we're going to try it out over here first. All right, let's see how we do. So we have the attack token turn three. Um... This looks pretty good as far as racing goes. I think we just keep this. Uh, yeah, let's just keep this. So we're gonna have Green Glade, we're gonna play Green Glade Duo on turn two. Into Zed on turn three. And we'll that'll be that'll turn the Green Glade Duo into a four one elusive. And then it, my plan after that turn four, we could have uh, I guess we're not attacking on turn four. I was gonna say we could have Shadows here, but I guess we'll have Soul Shepherd on turn four. Without a sound. Could have gone Oblivious Islander plus Silent Shadow Seer this turn, but it seems like a good time to be playing Zed. They could have their own Zed and then some ways to buff up their Zed. Okay. That's fine. I taste purple. Yay. Hmm. Oh, hello there. I'm gonna play this down where this thing can block the tasty fae folk if they want to attack with that. Into the forest. Ugh, that's annoying. I think I got something. Okay, let's see what we got. Hey, nice, Phil. Ooh, that's interesting. I have unfinished business. Because I do have six mana, so I have enough for Dark Water Scourge and Death Mark. And this is not creating an exact copy of me in hand, unfortunately. So we're not going to create like zero mana copies, and stuff like that. Darn, yeah, that thing's just two mana also. The shadows take form. Do not fear the shrouded path. Let's move! 
Shadow, take you. It's all in the wrist, see? Do I risk, risk the Soul Shepherd? I guess maybe not. You spurn my gift. All right, let's get rid of the Zed. All right, GG's. All right, got the first one. That looks pretty good. That did look pretty good. We were, you know, nice and aggressive. That looked good. <laughs> that was the fastest game. Yeah, we're gonna play. We're gonna play some fast games here. <laughs> We are going to be playing some fast games. That looks good with having those elusives. Um, yeah. Double silent shadow seer. Okay, let's see. I think I'm just keeping this. Um, yeah, I think we just keep this. So I could wait on the Stygian Onlooker and wait for it to be fearsome, but I, I kind of feel like I might as well play it on turn one just to play it. I have my order. Yeah, let's play it. Hello. This will shake a boom. Yeah, we'll just trade. So we're playing against some aggro here with Noxus PNZ. Playing against some burn. Alright, so my plan is Shark Chariots on two. Never mind. Oblivious Islander into Shark Chariot on two. And then Soul Shepherd on three. And then double shadows here on four. Do 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 do. This could work out pretty well. Ooh. Sorry, encroaching shadows. We're not gonna have time for you. Come, the journey ahead is long. I'm pretty sure we're winning this game from here. <laughs> this is looking very good for us. <laughs> Yeah, we're, we're, looks like we're winning this game. Thank you, Kitty Dexterity. Thanks for the cheers. Thank you so much. Oh no, another Soul Shepherd? Uh, I want to play that, but it's much better to play the Shadow Seers. We'll play that Soul Shepherd next turn. It's better to play both of these and attack with them. Shadow, take you. Mm. I don't know. Could attack with Soul Shepherd. Try me. Yeah, could have attacked with Soul Shepherd. Shadow, my <laughs> Silent Shadow Seer has looked awesome for us. Let's reckon. Won't find better this side of the sun. That's just them taking two more damage. Your ancestors await. All right, so this could could definitely be game. I could just attack. Probably better to play stuff though. So like I could attack and this would bring along a 4-3 and a 4-2. But it's probably better. Probably probably better just to play these things. Am I flesh or shadow? Plus we get to play Encroaching Shadows, that's what our deck's named after. We're gonna go Stygian Onlooker though, too. They will all learn to feel my order. All right, it's looking good so far. I was, I was kind of worried about 
this, but it's looking, I mean, it's looking good so far. We're, our opponents haven't done a whole lot, but we have been very, very aggressive. Okay. Well, of course, I have also, like, kept, like, all the cards in my hand in the previous two games. I think we mulligan all of those. Let's just keep the Soul Shepherd, see what else we get. Alright, good. Got got an ephemeral. Got a good use for the Oblivious Islander. Let's see what's out there. Let's see what's out there. Who's on top of the bounty board today? Sorry, Oblivious Islander. Looks like they hired a gun to take you down. Alright, then we go Zed. That's good. And we got Hecarim this game. I could definitely see myself fading memories this Jaw Hunters. I could see me doing that. That's a good ephemeral to have. Yeah, I think I want to do that. So both atrocities in hand. It's not ideal. Nothing to do here with our mana. Ooh. They have the anti-atrocity card. Hang on, Buzzball. Hey. All right, good draw. Would have loved to play that last turn. That's pretty gross. Yeah, because that's, you know, that just blocks my Dark Water Scourge or, or you know, like the Jaw Hunters. Yeah, that was, that was gross. I know, the 1 1 OP. One one OP. Calm mind and open heart. So we're only at one ephemeral so far. I will have the mana to go Soul Shepherd and Dark Water Scourge and Jaw Hunter, so we can do all of those next turn. No. Oh man, that's a great card. Ouch, that's a great card. No reason why that fish should not have attacked as well. They have like a, a nightfall. Come, the journey ahead is long. Yep. This so small, but she ain't lacking courage. Let's see if legends bleed. Are they deep? No. So I get to just take that out. That's pretty good. All right. So do I do I fading memories and create another Jaw Hunters, and have another Challenger, or um, or do I fading memories this Shipwreck Quarter and put a couple treasures into my deck? Probably the Jaw Hunters, right? And then create another Sea Monster. Like, if I challenge here... Yeah, probably another Jaw Hunters. And we could play the Dark Water Scourge, but, I mean, all it does is kill their Lunari Priestess, and then I, I don't gain any life because I'm still at 20. Ooh. Uh-oh. That's not good. 
That is not good at all. Their deck is kind of all over the place. Alright, so they're going to draw a card either way. My Hecarim's going to die either way. I can either have their Fizz die or do or use my Atrocity to do 5 damage to them. I guess we just have the Fizz die. Which makes more sense to do that. These things are going to be big, especially when you talk about Soul Shepherds. And then they just have like these little things to block them. These Lunari Priestesses. I really like Silent Shadow Seer. I missed that card. <laughs> we had that the first two games. That card was an all star. Sunlight blinds while moonlight reveals. Yeah, lots and lots of card advantage they have over there. You know, like they had the. Uh, um, the Yi Ben Ward, which drew them, the Lunari Priestess. Oh, they got the treasure trove. Hmm. Man, this is just pretty awkward. Fresh is worth at least twice as much. Cool. We'll take a pistol eye. Not at that good of a time to living legends. You only get four cards. And there's no... I, I don't feel like there should be any urgency to play that card right now. They only get four cards. I hope they got, like, multiple the Scourge that cost ten mana. <laughs> so they can't even play it. So, Alright, so they're, they're killing the Soul Shepherd and doing one damage to the beast below. Stare at the abyss. It'll stare back. Light I saw. Harvesting. I guess I attack with the beast below. You are misguided. Shining softly. This abyssal eye could be pretty important of getting us that card advantage with everything being ephemeral now after that encroaching shadows. Chosen of the moon. We open our hearts to find your path in the dark and follow no false. Yeah, A5 Challenger is pretty sweet, but A5 Ephemeral. Oh, <laughs> that's a yay boo. Oh, that's. Stay safe with her blessing. I was just gonna be, you know, killing that with atrocity. Uh, Cause you know, with this. Killing my abyssal eye. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess, you know, we just play Dark Water Scourge, Atrocity them, Dark Water Scourge, Atrocity them, right? I guess that's the plan. Do 17 that way. Turn back. I will be heard. All right, so before they draw a card, I kind of want to just sacrifice my beast below and kill their jaw hunter so I get to keep attacking with this thing, but I'm already, I'm already committed, I think, by playing this 10 10. I shouldn't have played the 10 10. If I just don't do that, then I could atrocity kill that thing, keep my my good attacker alive. I am the blade in the darkness. 
Alright, go get him, Zed. Man, this is just really not working out. Those two star shapings gaining 10 life. Why'd they have to have those two star shapings? Just sacrifice this and do... 7 damage to them. I guess. So we need to draw one of our elusives, right? Like, we need to draw Greenblade Duo or Silent Shadow Seer. They have to block with either Diana or Devour Depths. Way. Wow. <sighs> or not. <laughs> We're in this together. Right. Or not. There's only one true light. Alright, come on, we need to draw an elusive. Yes. Okay, we still have a chance. Um, I guess we don't have a chance anymore, do we? No, nope, because these all get plus two, plus two, and overwhelm. That's going to do 20 damage to me. Darn. It came close. The star shapings. That was a pretty sweet game though. You know we got we got Yi Ben warned to death. But that was a pretty sweet game. So we may just get Yi Ben warned to death again. But I like what we got going on here. Soul Shepherd, Green Glade Duo, these are cards that we can play early or later. Let's just wait on the Salmoker this time. The Yordle here's with me. Success gets you noticed around here. They'll never see us coming. Man. These hired guns. Destroying me. It's a good draw. What does he want from me? Does death follow me for peace? Pass. Pass. That's pretty good for them. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Let's do this. Double Shark Chariot turn. Confine and contain. We're gonna kill them next turn, maybe. Oh, yes. So then, Search, then, then I go encroaching shadows on their turn, take a whole bunch of damage, and then on my turn, uh, we'll have six mana. Be able to go like Green Glade Duo plus like Soul Shepherd, Green Glade Duo, and Shark Chariot. But it can. This keeps them probably from attacking with these things, or you know, if not, like we'll block. 
won't be able to block that. Why has he been warned? Just destroying me. <laughs> Stop. Stop with the even warren. Okay, I do have death mark. Could use that the next turn with the scourge. Oh, well, let's see. So 14 damage. No, maybe I just go scourge death mark actually. This turn? I don't, I don't know. I don't know if I need to be doing this. So many years, so much. Make it worth my while. You'll be forgotten. Alright, down to 11. This is enticing. Aren't any gods here? Just me. So, like, if I play Shark Terrier right now, it dies, then whenever it comes back, it's just gonna be the 3 1. It won't get, like, these other bonuses. Um, if I wait until next turn to play Encroaching Shadows, we may, you know, draw another thing that we also buff up the plus two, plus two. So, like, next turn we'll have eight mana. This counts, this costs six. And so it would have to be a one mana card, I guess, that we'd have to draw to be able to play it. So that's not likely that we're drawing a one mana card. So I guess in our opportunity to try to play everything, next turn we should just do this now. Wanted wrath. Okay, that's good. Tom, the journey ahead is long. Oh right, because it gets the bonus anyway, the encroach from the encroaching shadows because it's in the deck. So yeah, there's no reason to wait on the encroaching shadows. Hang on, Buzzball. Hey. Alright, I think we're good. Oh no, I still had a silent shadow seer to play. Well, that's pretty sweet. Alright, so we're gonna try one rank to finish this off. So we're going over to Master's rank, and we're actually playing against Demo Vladimir. Again, a deck that we played against earlier. This may have been, this may be the same opponent from earlier, potentially. We're gonna need to have a, a fast hand for sure, because they're they're aggressive. We're going to have to be aggressive. Uh, we're going to mulligan our four and six mana cards. Looks like we are all about Silent Shadow Seer. Nothing like the great outdoors. Oh, I can't wait. Uh... Yeah. Okay, I don't know. I was thinking, I was like, I could play Silent Shadows here and block, but no, that's probably not worth it. I like the Zed draw. We'll take that. No! I liked the Zed draw before that Mystic shot. Just a little bit more. Let me show you what I can do. No one's the wiser. So what am I gonna death mark? Everything's in place. Except your fate. I guess just a Crimson Disciple. They can of course have Mystic Shot and keep this from happening. 
but they already used the Mystic Shot. Alright, cool. Ooh, I like that. Fresh catch? Well, it was fresh. I like that. Gives me another card to play. I have unfinished business. Am I flesh or shadow? Okay, so we got twelve damage. And so we'll have two blockers on the way back for next turn. With our two two ones. And then yeah, then we'll have we can play Hecarum next turn. I believe those are only our first three ephemeral attacks. Or I guess this isn't even an, an ephemeral anymore, that's why. Yeah, so we only have the two ephemeral attacks so far. The Silent Shadow Seer has looked really good. Yep. No refunds. Alright, this is scary. This is scary burn wise. I feel like I have to block with this thing. Because, like, we're going to do six damage, right? I just don't want... Like, I don't even want to block with a 2-1. It survives and deals one damage to me. I don't even want that to happen. Alright, so they have to have Noxion Fervor if I just go right to attacks. I mean, we can just go right to attacks. So they have to have Noxion Fervor. Hopefully no Noxion Fervor. Oh, or get excited. Dang, exact lethal. That was a good game. Exact lethal. So we went one and one against that kind of burn deck. It's all in the cards. Um, okay, so I think our deck was was pretty respectable. Uh, you know, super fast. Very aggressive. We didn't play against any kind of, like, slower decks um, too much. You know, played against a lot of other aggro decks. Um, very, very respectable. Um, the... I don't know about maybe not maybe not the atrocities. They seemed like our worst card. Uh, the you know the one matchup the the one real matchup that we lost by a lot. It was just kind of a lot of, of us having like both atrocities right away, and they just didn't do anything ever, and didn't look like they would do anything. I could definitely see just getting rid of atrocity and just playing Doom Beast instead, where Doom Beast can can also get some drain in. Obviously not nearly as much, but it's not going to be just a dead card in hand, and it's going to um, be a good blocker for us. I think that's what I'd probably want to do instead of playing those atrocities. Just play a couple Doom, yeah. Get get some drain and get a blocker. Because this this deck you gotta have you gotta have your blockers and stuff like that too. Um, from playing those games, I was thinking that like playing those games like maybe we would need like um, the last you know the atrocity to to help finish them off. But that's not really how it it really looked. Um, so I, I think I'd be good with just leaving atrocity on the bench. And so I mean, one one small change to make. Um, get a couple Doom Beast. <clears throat> Alright, there we go. Um, that's it here for Encroaching Shadows. Keep on trying to make this card work. And, and uh, of course, play an Ephemeral deck with Hecarim. Um, I think it went over the... I think it went pretty well. Alright, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And, of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. I'd really appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.